Hello, welcome to USA Karate. As you well know, USA Karate has a lot of champions. We have national champions, local champions, state champions. Out of about 230 champions, we probably have five to 10 people that are regularly covered in magazines, profiled as great champions. But as many champions as we have at that school, we have a lot more winners. And let me explain what I mean by that. A winner is defined at USA Karate as so very simply, someone who uses their time intelligently. Now when I say intelligently, I'm not talking in terms of education. Calvin Coolidge, as he said, uh, the world is full of educated derelicts. However, at USA Karate, someone who sets their goals, commits themselves to accomplishing those goals, and then takes full responsibility for accomplishment of those goals, is acting in an intelligent manner. They are using their time wisely. In our mind, that is an intelligent person. That is a winner. So, in your case, what does that mean? How long have you been thinking about improving your discipline, improving your control, improving your confidence, getting into shape? When are you going to take charge of your life and actually take the steps towards improving that? First, we have to have the goal, we have to commit ourselves to it, and then we have to take full responsibility for its accomplishment. The loser makes excuses, the winner makes progress. If it's to be, it's up to me. And I'd like to carry on here with two of our winners to help us in the next segment. Come on out here, guys. We have 10 years old, weighing in at probably a good 80 pounds, <laughs> John the Masher Lovasser, and one of our brown belts, and David Tondro. Now, these guys are going to help us with the children's self-defense segment, and this is what it looks like. Guys, today we're going to work on a defense against the full Nelson. Look at me, please. All right, the full Nelson is extremely painful. Guy comes up behind you, and he's pushing your head down real hard. First thing we're going to work on doing is we're going to protect our neck by crossing our hands and putting them on our forehead. Then we're going to make sure that they feel a little bit of pain so they know that they shouldn't have grabbed this. We'll stomp on their toe. Then to get out, two quick steps. I'm going to step behind them and then he's all mine. All right, let's try that one first. Okay, David, please put it on John. The full Nelson. All right, first he protects the neck. Then he's going to stomp the toe. Two steps to get out. Go one, two, and behind. Grab, and he's all yours. Very good. All right, don't, don't drop him. All right, one more time. This time, John, let's do this defense. Watch, let's change a little bit. Let's say we don't want to grab the guy, but we want to strike. Watch closely. Now, I'm going to go two steps behind. I'll still stomp his toe, two steps behind, but rather than grab, we're just going to go straight up and drive root down real hard with an elbow. So this is a little more serious, isn't it? This is somebody that you're going to have to really let go on, all right? So, please don't let go on David, <laughs> but let's see what it looks like. All right, slowly but surely. Defense against the full Nelson. Protect the neck, stomp the toe, step behind, arch and elbow. Very good. One more time. A little faster here, guys. Nail it. Go. Good, good, very nice. The most important thing is that step behind. That establishes our balance. That was, is what makes the difference. Okay, guys, salute each other. Salute here. Thank you very much. All right. Now, our student profile today is a very, very special profile of a gentleman named Sam Wheeler. And before I talked about what it takes to be a winner, watch this very closely, and you'll understand what it is to be a winner at USA Karate. Now, Sam